Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can upload file in Laravel using Ajax and I will try to make this tutorial as simple as possible and I will explain everything step by step. So here you can see that I just create a fresh Laravel project and I just also create a table for that project and the table name is post and for this table we have a title field and a image field. So first of all here we will have the input field over here so that we can upload the data to the database table using Ajax. So let's go back to our code and we'll just directly go to resource views and the welcome.blade.php and from here we'll just remove everything and we'll say here HTML and then inside this body let's say over here center tag and inside this center tag we'll have a form. Then inside this form let's have two div uh, first in the first div we'll have a level so level will be title and for this title level we'll have an input field so input type will be text and let's say name equal to title so let me just copy this div ctrl c then i'll just paste it two times on and two so here we'll say upload image or let's just say here image and for the image the type will be file and let's say name equal to image and this one will be the submit button so here input type it will be submit and instead of name we say here hello it will be at so right now if we save this then if we just refresh our browser here here you can see we have the input field and the file upload option so let's just add a little bit br tag so uh, here we'll just add a br tag br tag will create some space copy paste copy and after every div we'll just write this via tag save let's refresh again okay so this is fine so here we have the title and the image the upload option so right now let's go and write some code so that we can upload the image using ajax so here inside the form we'll say here action then method method will be post obviously and since we want to upload file we need to say ENC type it will be multipart slash form data and we also require to mention the csrf token over here after the form and let's say in the action we'll give to second bracket let's say here url let's say here ajax upload let's just say this and since we have to use ajax we need to mention a id for this form let's say the id name will be uh, let's say file or form upload basically you can name it anything we'll just say here form let's just keep the u capital form upload so right now let's save this and we'll just go down and we'll go over here at the end of the body tag and here we're going to write the script tag so inside the script tag first of all let's say here dollar to first bracket document then after the first bracket we we'll say over here dot ready function to first bracket function and here after the function we need to give to first bracket again and here you can see for the ready function uh, for this ready here you can see the first bracket and this is the first bracket for the ready so we'll just keep it like this and for this function we'll give to second bracket over here so let's just write it like this this way and here we need to give a semicolon so i go we are clear over here so right now inside this function we are going to uh, mention or we are going to call this id for this form which is form upload so let's go down again and here we are going to say dollar to first bracket to single correction then we'll mention hash since we want to uh, get this id so for id we need to say hash and let me just copy this and i'll just paste the id for the form over here then we saw our here dot on then we'll give to first bracket and we saw our here submit then we'll give a comma over here then we'll say our here function to first bracket and inside this to first bracket we'll just mention a variable let's say here event so again just like before we'll just keep this first bracket separate like this and for this function we'll give to second bracket over here so let's just make it look like this then we'll end it with a semicolon 
So here, uh, what will happen is that whenever someone click on this submit button, or let me just show you in the browser, whenever someone click on this add or submit button, what it will do is that it will call this form upload, uh, which is basically this one. Okay. So right now inside this function, we'll write some as a code. But first of all, what we need to do is that we need to prevent our browser from reloading whenever we click on this add button. So for it, what we do is that uh, we'll just say over here, here you can see we mentioned event variable. We'll say over here event dot, we'll say prevent default and do fast bracket, okay, D-E-F-A-U-L-T. So right now, uh, what it will do is that it will stop our browser from reloading. But before we can use this prevent default, uh, what we need to do is that we need to get the Ajax CDN link and paste it in the head section of our code. So let me just go to my browser and we'll just search over here Ajax CDN link. Then we'll just go to over here cdns.com and from here we'll just copy the first one. We'll click on this middle one over here and it will get copied. Then we'll just paste it in the head section. Okay, so right now let's save this. And uh, that serial link will help us stop the browser from reloading. Okay, so right now let's just refresh our browser over here. And right now if we click add, here you can see it's not reloading. So let's go and write the address code to upload the file. So here, after this, we'll say here, we'll say jquery dot ajax, then we'll give to first bracket, then to second bracket. Then we'll just write it like this. So here, first of all, we're going to mention the URL name. Let's see here URL and let's give to double quotation over here. And let me just go at the top and let me just copy this URL from here, control C and we'll just paste it over here. Okay, so after writing the URL name, we'll give a comma over here. Then we'll go to the second line and here we'll say type, it will be post and we need to write it inside single quotation. Then we'll say data clone, it will be new FORM from data. Then we'll give to first bracket and we'll say over here this. So here you can see that we did not write form data anywhere. So basically, this is uh, what this will do is that it will automatically point uh, this form. So uh, here you can see form data this. So this will basically point us uh, to this form. Okay. We do not have to write any ID for this because uh, it is just by default for Ajax or form. After this, we'll say here content type. We we'll say over here false comma and again, we'll say process data it will be false then we will give a former so after that if the upload is successful then we'll go to the success function we'll say over here success clone we'll say here function then we'll just declare a variable we'll just say over here result and then for this success function we'll give to second bracket so if the data is successful we'll just do something over here so for now let's just keep this empty so here you can see for up until now, everything is really simple. So basically what will happen is that if someone click on this add or submit button, then it will call this ID form upload, which is in the skip part. Here you can see form upload. And then first of all, it will prevent our browser from reloading. And then uh, using Ajax here, we are mentioning the URL name type will be post. And we are actually pointing the form that we have in this page, then we have content type and process data is false at the beginning. So right now, uh, let's go and write this route in the web.php. So let's go to routes, then web.php. So here, let me just copy this, then paste it over here. We we'll say route post. And let me just copy this URL from here. URL name from here, control C and control V. And let's say the function name will be upload and we'll use the home controller. So right now let's go to home controller and write a function for upload. So we'll go to app, HTTP, controllers and home controller. So here we'll say public function upload to first bracket. We we'll say over here request 
dollar request then we'll give to second bracket over here so here first of all just like uh, we normally upload data in laravel we basically need to do the same thing so let's declare a variable over here dollar data equal to new we need to mention the table model name which is post and i already add the post model name at the top over here you can see so here we'll say here dollar data arrow sign we'll say title equal to and here you can see this title will come from the database table which is basically this one here you can see title so this title is over here and here we're going to say dollar request arrow sign and then we'll get the data from here here you can see name equal to title so we'll just write over here title so for the image or for the file what you need to do is that first of all we'll declare a variable over here let's say here image you can declare any variable we'll go with image equal to first of all we'll request the image or file we say over here dollar request arrow sign and here we're going to mention this name which is image so image so after this we'll say or we'll just give a random name for the file so let's say over here dollar image name I'm using image as an example, but image is basically a file, right? So don't get confused. Image name equal to time to first bracket. Then we'll give a dot to single quotation. Inside them, we'll give a dot, again dot. And here, we're going to mention this image variable. Then we'll give this arrow sign and we'll show on here, get client original extension. So you need to write it like this. So what it will do is that it will give our file a random name using the time function. So after this, we'll just uh, store the image in the public folder. So in order to store the image in the public folder, first of all, we need to say over here, dollar request this arrow sign image. Then we'll give this arrow sign. Then we'll say over here, move to first bracket to single quotation. And here we're going to mention the folder name at which folder in the public folder uh, we want to save the file so let's say over here the folder name in the public folder will be file folder you can name it anything then we'll give a comma over here and we'll store the image over here so let me just copy this name over here and we'll paste it over here so after this we can just store the image name in the database table so here right now we'll say uh, let me just copy this dollar data title request title and we'll paste it over here so instead of title we're going to show our here image and here instead of request title here we're going to mention this dollar image name which is basically a random name using time function copy and paste over here so after this we'll just show our here dollar data arrow sign save so after saving the data, since this is address, we cannot return redirect. So we'll show over here, return response. We'll give to first bracket, then this arrow sign. We'll say here, JSON to first bracket, to third bracket. And here, we'll give to single version and we'll show over here, success uh, equal arrow sign, it will be true. So basically, we are saying that uh, over here, you can see we mentioned over here success. So we are just saying is saying is that uh, success equal to true. It means data is uploaded successfully and we want to get back to the view. So here you can see this is super simple. I hope you understand this thing and this thing properly. Basically, everything is simple. So right now, if we set this, then if we now refresh over here and let's just say random things and let's just choose the image from here then click open and if i click add here you can see it did not reload it data is still here and right now if we just refresh our browser i mean the table over here you can see we have the title over here and the image over here so let's go and check our uh, folder so let's just go to our public folder here you can see it created a folder called file folder and if i just open it here you can see the image we can also uh, upload file over here as well. So uh, let's just do one thing that is after uploading the title field and the image field will be empty. So for it, what we'll do is that here, we'll just directly go to the uh, this success function. So inside this success function, what we'll say over here is J 
query will give to first bracket to single quotation with our head hash and after this we'll just mention this form id let me just copy this then paste it over here then with our here to third bracket zero dot reset so basically what it will do is that it will reset all the input field in the form after uploading the data okay so let's save this again then let's refresh let's over here abc let's choose a file over here let's choose this file this is just a file not an image and click open and if we now click add here you can see the input field is empty and also the image field and if we now refresh our post table here you can see abc and the text file over here so right now let's just check if, if the text file is uploaded in the public folder here you can see we have the text file over here so yeah this is how you can upload file in laravel using ajax so i hope you learned something new from this tutorial and this tutorial was helpful for you and if you want more tutorial like this then make sure to subscribe to this channel and i will also appreciate that as well thanks again for watching i hope to see you in the future tutorials